Uh, if you're dealing with people's livelihoods, you sure as the world ought to know what the numbers are. I will tell you that uh, United Technologies and Carrier stepped it up, and now they're keeping actually the numbers over 1,100 people, which is so great, which is so great. Uh, when Carrier announced the close down of the whole facility in February, they announced at that point in time their research and development jobs, uh, about 350 of them, where we're going to remain here in Indianapolis. Then uh, when uh, Mr. Trump got involved, uh, what the actual number of jobs saved is 730 uh, bargain unit jobs, the, the uh, workers of the union members, and another 70 office supervisory clerical workers for, from management. And what they're doing, they're counting in uh, 350 some odd more than we're never leaving this country at all. And I think he's did a lot of negotiations and I have likewise. And uh, if you're dealing with people's livelihoods, you sure as the world ought to know what the numbers are. I just wish that he'd have had the numbers down and he'd have been up front with 800 people's jobs staying here in Indianapolis because we had a lot of our members when the word was coming out of 1100 they thought uh, that, that they would have a job and in order and then they find out the next day after well, next Friday that most likely they weren't 550 were still going to lose their jobs.